Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're back with another Let's Play Franchise Mode episode. This is all pre-recorded if you're wondering, so I don't have access anymore to the beta when you are watching this. I'm pre-recording this so we can kill the time when we are waiting for the launch of the game. And we've got an update, and finally our beard taper is gone here. Our staff member is gone here, so that worked out pretty nicely. I'm really happy about that. And we've got babies! Where are they? We've got babies in here. Oh my goodness. They are so adorable. The African wild dog gave us some really, really cute babies. Oh, look at that one jumping right over here. It's so adorable and I'm so happy it worked out so nicely. And well, according to today, there has been a few updates with the beta, so a lot of things should be fixed right now. Also with the breeding and stuff, so I'm really curious if we will notice any changes during our Let's Play. And I'm just really excited to start building another habitat for more animals, uh, but they are just so adorable. I'm so happy to see we've got some baby African wild dogs. They're really incredible. And did we have any other babies? I wonder if we missed out on anything else. Uh, oh, the black bear is pregnant, guys. That's amazing. Oh, oh, oh. A zebra has given birth. Is giving birth right now? Or is that like your baby right now? Oh my goodness, I think this is the one. <gasps> Welcome to our world, Lady Zebra. You're so incredibly cute. I just can't help it, guys. The babies in this game are just so adorable. I really love them so much. They're really incredible. So we have the Formosan Black Bear pregnant. This is August year 27. Then we will expect some really cute baby black bears too. I'm super excited for that. And what else did we miss out on? So you can see here, I had some Indian P files. I tried to record an episode. I had a lot of crashes. I wasn't happy with the habitat. So I'm just going to trade them and I'm gonna start doing something else. And I might add the P file in a later stage to a habitat of the rhino or maybe the African elephant. We have a very dirty habitat over here, by the way. So we might wanna get some more caretakers and some keepers in, just add two of both. And they also had a fix today, for me today, for you guys, weeks ago. <laughs> with the zookeepers not doing their job properly with the feeders. I don't really have any issues with that because I'm using the work rosters. Oh, you're so adorable too. I love it. I love it. You're so cute. Oh, just look at that little face. You are so adorable with your wiggling ears. Oh, are you playing here? You're eating, that's so cute. I'm still hoping for the mud bad. Gosh, you're so cute. I love you, you're so adorable. And your sounds are so hilarious, I just love it. You guys, you guys are having fun here, huh? <laughs> So the only thing I really would love to see are babies from these lovely animals, so the snow leopard. We just have to wait and see about that. They are not super happy. We don't have any food enrichment so far. Hopefully we did some research for them and we unlocked anything new. Do we have any food enrichment? Presented sack? I don't know, but we can maybe add you in this habitat and we don't have any food enrichment unfortunately so we have to wait for that just a little bit longer the rubbing pad they are really bored of at this point and they're also a bit bored of the fire hose ball oh wait you were just playing with it right oh you <laughs> there you are give me that hose ball give it give it to me <laughs> I'm gonna wait, I'm not gonna grab it out of his nose in this case. <laughs> Can I get it please? You don't like it, I'm gonna remove it. Delete it, okay, perfect. We do need to add maybe this one. 
so they can play with that. And now it's turning green again, but still food enrichment. We have to do the research for what animal shall we add? We don't really have the fencing yet for the African elephant. So that's not going to work out right now. We have the African wild dog, beards, tay bears, Bengal tigers. How expensive are you? I'm curious about that. Mm, we can add you. Shall we do that? They have like a really high appeal. We should also do some marketing soon, by the way. We might want to do that. So let's go. Can we get young adults for the Bengal tiger? I don't think so right now. I think that's buggy because I never see any young adults in the trading market. So I'm really curious about that. I think that will work with launch or it depends what kind of animal you have of course and i want a young tiger and uh, they are super expensive oh my goodness we can't afford that we just really can't afford that so we have to find another animal so what other animal are we able to add here the hippo is like he wants such a big habitat so i don't really want to do that right now maybe some sable antelopes that would be fun but the question is how expensive are you and how many would we need in our habitat i'm not sure i think it's just one male two females i think something like that but we can afford them so i'm just curious immunity gene we don't really have to take care of that right now because we don't have diseases but we will have that during launch so it's gonna be important to not have like a very low immunity gene because they got sick really quickly and that's also because of the inbreeding if you have inbreeding their immunity gene will be very low and you will have a lot of diseases with your animals which you have to take care of. So that's really interesting and I'm really curious to see more about that. Okay, I'm, I think I'm gonna get you because you are gold. And then we're gonna get, wait, is that the same? Terra Anima, Nature's Will. I wanna get you because you're cheap. <laughs> Okay, so we have right now one male and two females. So they need at least 1.25 meters, a minimum of the fence height, 450 cubic meters. And okay, we're gonna be fine with the amount of animals we have right now. So we're gonna pause the game. I'm gonna lay out some path and I also wanna keep some space for some more shops because I do feel we can have some more shops in this area. I might just copy these buildings just so don't have to build too much and spend too much time on it right now. So I might do that and then I will get right back to you guys.
Okay, so I was building this area and then I got a crash. But since the habitat is finished, I feel like we should just add the sable antelope to their habitat. And let's move them so we can continue this. And I will do the decorations later, as I just mentioned. But it is what it is, I guess, right now. <laughs> it's still a beta, so things like that can happen. And it's, it's gonna be fine. Is this area big enough? It's way bigger than it should be which I'm really happy about. So we're going to, I'm really happy that at least the outside of the building, the bin, the inside is, is really a mess. I did add two staff rooms right over here because I did notice like all the staff has to go all the way to the entrance to go and have some rest. So I thought it would be, would be nice to have a staff area right over here. And we have just copy pasted the shops from the entrance to here. I will decorate it a little bit more with some fencing and stuff. But at least the people can eat and drink here. We do need some vendors now I see. So one, two, three, and let's add two more so they can switch once they have like their breaks or anything like that. So hopefully that will work out easily if so. And we're going to add the animals in this habitat. I do need to add the work rosses. That is why it crashed. So hopefully it's gonna be fine. And some reason the work rosters are glitching right now after the update. So hopefully that will be fixed. Let me just save that real quick and just restart the game. So we just restarted the game just to make sure that we don't have that menu anymore. It's gonna be fine. It's a beta. So we're going to add the terrain for them and they are happy with the size of their habitat so that shouldn't be an issue. I do want to just play around a little tiny bit with some terraforming and I want to add some water to it just a little bit. So let's play the game and let's make sure they are not able to climb out of this habitat. Okay, I don't see any warnings, so I think we are good. And as you can see, I did put 1% more coverage in, but other than that, they are fine and happy and they are just really beautiful. We need to add some donation boxes too, but they are absolutely incredibly beautiful. I really love the colors and the fur. It's really amazing. These animals are absolutely incredible to see. They're thirsty. Okay, is the water pump covering this area? Let's have a look real quick. Close you down. Yikes, no water pump. I keep saying water pump, but it's water treatment. That's definitely a difference, but you guys know what I mean, right? Okay, so our vet research is done and I'm really excited to see what it did so we can maybe do some more research on the sable antelope. Okay, Timberwolf, and we're gonna give you to the sable antelope. And other than that, yeah, we can just keep doing our research right over here. Hopefully the keepers will fill these feeding tray really soon so they have some nice food are you having a swim you're so pretty can you make babies for us we like babies oh yeah you're gonna have a drink i really hope this will be changed soon because there are like above the water drinking but it's very steep so i can imagine that the animations are a little bit hard but then maybe just put them like with some feet in the water for a bit that would fix it right away instantly so i hope those kind of things will be 
fixer in lounge but other than that it just looks really incredibly beautiful and i keep saying it there are a lot of animations we haven't seen yet they will be added in the launch game also with like the interactions and stuff with the animals with each other the babies with their mom and dad and those kind of things i'm really excited for that you're very pretty too this is a male sable antelope and you're really gorgeous oh you already have some scars here oh that's so sad how are the babies doing from the black bear? I am really curious and I also want to know if our wolves are finally getting some babies. Nope, still no babies. I didn't really play the game so it probably is gonna take some time still. You're the male, where is our female? You're laying- <gasps> Yes, we have babies! I don't know how many, but you're so cute! Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to see it's really working out now and we're getting more and more babies in our zoo. They're so incredibly cute. I love them. I love them so much. They're absolutely adorable. Look at that little happy face! <gasps> you're gonna have a swim! Oh my goodness, you're so adorable. And that fur just shiny because of the water. That's just so good. I love these animations. I love it. Are you having any brothers or sisters, I wonder? How many do we have? Ooh, there's another one in. Dingben and Gan. So we got two baby boys. Unfortunately, we oh, there you are. We have two. Hi. We have two baby bears, guys! We did it! They're so incredibly cute. It's going so well, guys. We have $311,000 right now. So if you could do a really creative mode, you are definitely able to make a super pretty zoo and a good running zoo. At least so far, everything goes really nicely. Ooh, we have way too many of you. I'm going to put you up in a training center and i'm going to put you is that the only male we have i think so so we're gonna keep you five zebras one male four females that's all right and we have seven jeez seven okay one baby a dead animal a dead animal why do we have a dead animal oh no let's unbox you why do we have a dead animal in here it's quite hard to manage there you are i'm so sorry love died of old age well that's at least good still so we definitely need one more uh african buffalo just to make sure we can get some more babies in because it's so hard and it's definitely going to be super challenging if you don't want to pay attention to the inbreeding I'm super excited to learn more about that, but it's just gonna take me too much time right now to really dive into that and it's gonna cost you a lot of money too. So I'm thinking to just get another female in here and just see how that will go and hopefully we don't get them all to die at some point. Oh, 450? Are you serious? You're so expensive. Are you sure? Okay, I'm sure I'm just doing it. You are pretty old, so I think I'm gonna just trade with you and hope that I can get some conservation points from you too. Okay, so we have 200 and trade 200. And hopefully we can earn our conservation credits back from the buffalo we got. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Do let me know in the comment section, of course. Please make sure to subscribe if you already haven't and leave a like at the video if you enjoyed. And I really hope to see you all in the next one. Bye guys!